Welcome to the Weekly Metals Money and Markets Update for Friday, January 27th, 2017, hosted by Mickey Fulp, the mercenary geologist, and for MiningClips.com, I'm Eric Birch. It's been a very eventful week. Uh, here in Vancouver, we hosted three mining conferences. Uh, the Dow went over 20,000 for the first time in history, and uh, that put a little bit of pressure on gold. What happened with the metals this week? Well, gold was down, as you said, the stock market soared and that put pressure on gold. It was down well over a percent, closed at 11.91. Silver bucked the trend, it closed at 17.11, eight, up eight cents over the week. Uh, platinum had a $8 gain, almost a percent, closed at 9.84. The real story in precious metals this week is palladium. It had a big correction. The, the Biggest down tick in, what, 10 years on Wednesday, closed the week after a little rally at 736, but it still lost 6% over the week, and that has to be looked at uh, as a correction. You know, we've been on this roll since the first of the year in Palladium, and it got a bit ahead of itself. And taking a look at copper, it seems that we managed to gain back what we lost last week. Well, it increasingly is range bound in this upper 250 to upper 260 range. Close the week at 267 for a 3% gain. I'm pretty bullish for copper through the end of the first quarter here. And taking a look at energy, we saw a little bit of a rally in oil. Uh, just a tad. It kind of seesawed over the week. Uh, Closed up today, closed at 53.13, up a percent of, uh, and a half over the week, um, fighting this battle of OPEC cuts and U.S. shale oil production coming back on stream. Uh, the U.S. rigs were up again this week to uh, 712 rigs. It's been something like 13 months since we've seen these levels. And taking a look at uranium, we saw some nice gains this week as well. Well, it's been up, what, seven of the last eight weeks since a 12-year low hit back in early December. Uh, closed the week at 23.43, up 3% over the week. Uh, I can tell you right now, there are promotions ongoing or planned for some of the uh, junior and small-tier uranium producers. So I'm very much looking forward to see what's going to happen uh, with uranium stocks uh, from now, let's say, until the PDAC. And in uh, currencies, uh, the U.S. dollar showed a little bit of weakness uh, to end the week slightly in the red. U.S. dollar lost some more, uh, lost three-tenths of a percent, closed the week at 100.58, but it actually uh, touched 100 on the big day in the stock market on Wednesday. Uh, its week's close here is the low since the election way back in November. So we continue to see this weakness in the U.S. dollar. Euro was basically unchanged at a buck seven. The loonie gained back what it lost last week, so it finished the week at a little bit above 76 cents. And uh, switching to the markets now, the Dow made history on Wednesday when it finally pushed over 20,000. Well, all the indices made history. Uh, Dow surged. It went up uh, uh, on Wednesday, maintained its gains uh, yesterday and today for the most part. Closed the week at 20,094 for well over a percent gain. S&P 500 gained a percent closed at a weekly all-time record high at 22.94 and the Nasdaq was the big gainer for the week almost 2%, you know, tech is now uh, starting to lead this rally. Nasdaq closed at 56.59. And taking a look at our venture exchange here in Canada, we managed to eke out another gain here uh, for 5 weeks in a row. Well, I think that was expected, and I predicted it, that during the uh, Cambridge House Conference this week, there would be nice gains. Uh, it paused after Tuesday uh, and then made a very nice gain again today to close at 810 for a percent and a half gain over the week. Uh, despite the fact that there are very few miners at these so-called Vancouver mining shows, there's a lot of exploration companies, and that's what drives the Toronto Venture Exchange. 
Well, I'd like to thank you for your analysis again this week, Mickey, and looking forward to checking in with you next Friday. All right.